as we uh, turn to Pam now, Pam. Today, you will tell us about... A disappointment. Because I was asked to go on the Spring Watch programme and talk about hedgehogs, because I'm very keen on hedgehogs, yeah. and they were doing a feature about it. Uh, so I didn't really know what to wear, and I looked through my wardrobe, and I had a shirt with bumblebees on it, so I thought that'd be perfect. And I put it on with my black jeans, and I thought I looked very appropriate. <laughs> so I went along to the show, and I appeared, and um, I came out with my edgehog and said a few verses of my edgehog poem, and that was it. And then I went home... And uh, a couple of weeks later, the show was shown, and I thought I'd get a cup of tea and sit and see what it looked like. Anyway, after a while, this portly old bird came shambling on, and um, for a moment, I thought, look at that. I thought, that woman's got a shirt on with bumblebees just like mine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and then I thought, I thought the awful, you know, I realised the awful truth that this portly old bird was actually me. And I always thought I was going to look a bit better than that, but I looked, I thought I looked awful with a double chin and wrinkles and everything you don't want. And so my poem today is about just deciding to accept the inevitable decline. <laughs> Bring ruddy great frocks and trousers and smocks. Bring all of the latest apparel. But don't bring them skinny or mini or thinny. Bring them as big as a barrel. And so in a length of industrial strength, elastic or plastic or rubber, of massive endurance to give reassurance when fighting to hold in the blubber. <laughs> Let's not do things by halves. Boots with ruddy great calves, with gussets elastic a strain in. Not sixes or sevens, bring tens or elevens or twelve if there's any remaining. Bring a nightdress for me like a darned great marquee with flounces and colourful threadings. For a moderate rent, I could hire out my tent for parties, bar mitzvahs and weddings. <laughs> I'll be free, debonair, I'll buy new underwear, away with those bras uninspiring. No more to entomb the majestic bosom <laughs> with their cut-you-in-half underwiring. And as for the panties, I don't want them scanty, I don't want them frilly or lacy. Bring them big and not sparse for the serious arse. <laughs> Who says size 24 can't be racy? <laughs> <laughs> That's terribly good. <laughs> I love it. 33 plays 